it's Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel um, for those of you all who do not know I am a first-rate teacher in Georgia and this is day two of my classroom setup so um, let me just say if you hear like a beeping noise it's totally not me it's not my camera or anything like i don't know what's going on with the school's um intercom but it's been making a beeping noise in like everyone's classroom like i've been listening to this for at least about an hour or two it's so annoying but i have to do what i have to do so yesterday i accomplished so much um a math wall word wall color posters the alphabet and so today I'm going to start working on putting up the border around my whiteboard so I have an idea of how I want it I think I want it layered but I'm not sure how it's going to turn out um so you guys get to watch me um go through that process but let me show you all the border it's just some regular border from Hobby Lobby um, like I said, I had the burlap border last school year, and it was just too messy for me. Here's a regular border that I'm going to use for my whiteboard. Um, just yellow and white. I actually went to Hobby Lobby this morning to pick up some more border just in case um, I run out. So this is the layered bulletin board type concept that I am going for. And why didn't y'all tell me? It is so time consuming like it's cute and all but this thing takes too long and especially since this isn't like a regular bulletin board this is a whiteboard so like I only can staple it at the top and on the sides right here I either have to like hot glue it to this silver rim or I can tape it but I noticed that the masking tape is not really working with this border so it looks like I'm going to have to hot glue it so i mean i would stop but i already started and it looks cute even though it's time consuming so um i think i'm gonna go ahead and finish this um layered whiteboard up now look at all this space that i have to do look at all of this freaking whiteboard that i have to do um yeah anywho i'm just gonna go ahead and finish it up because it is cute even though it's time consuming Okay, so here's the final product of the layered border up here. It looks really, really ratchet because I had to do um, just a lot of stuff to get um, the top layer to stay. Especially because this is not a bulletin board. And um, the bottom looks pretty decent. I mean, I like the look of the layered border. Um, it's time for me to go back and put some border to divide each section um, up. But will I do it again? No, I will not do it again. It was like too time consuming. So I just ran out of masking tape and hot glue sticks. And so now I'm about to be on a hunt to try to find those things because I have a lot um, of other things to do. Okay, so I put up my letters for my learning objectives. Probably um, another day I'll come back and add like different letters for the different subjects. Um, I also added my divider right here. And now here's my open space. And now I'm going to uh, put the letters up for my anchor charts. It's just going to say anchor our learning. And I actually um, made the letters that I'm going to um, put up here. So 
So I'm done putting up the letters for the anchor chart section. I'm so proud of myself because I made um, these letters as well. It says anchor our learning. Um, I saw a couple for free on TPT, but I really didn't like them for what um, I was doing um, with my board. So I decided to make my own letters. How cute are they? Anchor our learning. So now I'm about to go ahead and add like a bulletin board piece. I'm gonna move these over and add a bulletin board piece to, you know, separate it, separate the sections. Okay, you guys so I just basically finished the entire board um, I still want to add a couple of things in this area right here but that's pretty much it so it looks a hundred times better um, than it did this morning so let me just kind of like walk you through my whiteboard so this section is basically our standards or you can say learning objectives the only thing that I have left to add in this section is um, you know, the labels for the learning objectives like math, science, ELA, um, social studies. So uh, the next section right here will be basically just my writing section. Um, like I said, the projector is right here. So it aims straight um, at this section. So that's great. That's a plus for me. And the last section, I'm super, super proud of myself <laughs> about this section this is the anchor chart section anchor our learning like I said I love anchor charts and I didn't have a place um, to place my anchor charts during instruction so yeah this was a great place to put my anchor charts and you guys I actually made these letters it says anchor our learning and um, I think I might put them in TPT I don't know I always say that about the products I make but I make products for myself and sometimes I don't think that they're TPT worthy. And then I just kind of like put it out there just to see if others may like it. Um, but I didn't like the other um, anchor our learning letters that were on TPT. So yeah, that's why I just decided to um, make my own. So I'm going to step all the way back so you can see it. So now I'm going to work on another project. Um, I need to go to my car to get um, my mirror because I'm going to put a mirror on the closet door. It's going to be like an inspiration mirror. I know some of you all probably have seen like um, where the teachers put like I am the words I am at the top and like inspirational words around a mirror. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, let me show you all um, where that mirror is going to go. So that mirror is going to go on this um, closet door. So I think you'll go great right here. So this is the mirror, the old mirror that I was talking about. Um, I actually got this mirror when I was in college. Like, y'all look at the back. The back is, oh. <laughs> the back is peeling. But um, I thought this mirror would be perfect to use for um, an inspiration mirror for my students. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started on this mirror. So I have my letters, um, the words I and am on here. And now I'm gonna start putting the motivational words around the mirror.
So I did that inspiration mirror super fast. It was super easy and it turned out super cute. So um, let me show you all. This is what it looks like. Now that I'm thinking, I probably should have like glued some words back here and then glued I am on top. But maybe that would have been too much like color collision. So maybe it's okay that I left it how it is. So I don't know. But yeah, I think it turned out pretty cute. And now I'm going to go ahead and hot glue this mirror on this closet. Okay, I'm trying to see if it look straight. Look straight. I am impotent. It looks yeah, straight. It looks straight. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's straight. I is kind. I is responsible. You know I'm gonna put you on my YouTube. Cause I'm filming right now. Oh. <laughs> I is friendly. <laughs> it's, it's YouTube live for real. No, it's not YouTube live. No, it's not live. Don't just film me. Wanna say hey? Hi! Dale, the camera this way. You gotta come around this way. I know, but I saw me waving. Oh, in the mirror. Oh, because you're reflecting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to, I, I don't put this up, right? I don't tore the whole thing off. I'm hope, hopefully it'll stay, because I hot glued it up here. I is 12 plus. Guess how old this mirror is? Probably like 10 years. Mm -hmm. I got like in 2013 when I went to college. Yeah. It's so old. Because I got one. It's that old. And I was tired Mine of looking at it. Paper. Look at the dust that came off the paper. Yeah. Mine this thing's so paper. old. <laughs> but I mean, it, it'll do. But you know what? I, I like it, but I'm probably going to have like problems with students. My dainty girls. I'm gonna have a problem with my dainty girls trying to come look at themselves. They're gonna be all up in the mirror, putting the lip gloss on. <laughs> so I'm not sure if it's straight, but I'm not taking it down. So here's our inspirational mirror, you guys. So my camera went dead. <laughs> Just when I was trying to close out this um, classroom day two setup, but it's okay because I'm gonna pull out my phone because I'm ready to go home. But I wanted to give you all like a recap of um, what I did today. I mean, I feel like I really didn't get a lot accomplished, but it's better than it was yesterday. So um, silly me to think that I was going to finish setting up my classroom on day two. So obviously I'll be back with um, a day three classroom setup and possibly a day four classroom setup. But let me just show you all um, the things that I accomplished on so, today. So uh, if you remember, my whiteboard was completely, um, let's just say plain Jane. So I added like a layered border on my whiteboard and I separated my whiteboard into three sections. Um, this is the section for my learning objectives. I'm just going to write them in. This is the section for me to just write. And um, like I said, the projector focuses right on this section. And this section is for my anchor charts um, during instruction. So y'all look at that. Look at all that color. It's coming along. It's coming along. And this took me basically like the whole day you guys i did not know it was mostly the border like i did not know it was going to take me this long oh my gosh this is a mirror that i worked on today as well as you all saw in the previous footage um this was an old mirror and i just hot glued these um inspirational words around the mirror now let me show you something that I did off camera. It's nothing, you know, spectacular, but I don't know if y'all remember, I did a um, classroom haul and these bins were in my classroom haul. So I just wanted to show you all how that turned out. They turned out pretty good. I have my center activity strictly in these bins. As you can see, I just separated them. It says math before and after, math addition, math one through 120, um, math money, ELA, text features, reading simple sentences. Of course, it's not all of my center things, but um, this is all that I have accomplished so far. And I'm probably just gonna keep it there because it's, you know, out the way and it's convenient right here. 
So that is pretty much it for my classroom setup part two. Like I said, I thought I was going to finish, um, but obviously I did not. So I'll be back for a classroom setup part three and possibly a four. But before you all go, do not forget to do three things. Three things, and that's comment, like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel.